Thousands of windmills across Europe are coming to the end of their life cycle. What to do with the materials they are made of remains a challenge. European scientists are currently brainstorming new ways to recycle these sophisticated composites in safe and cost-efficient ways. And solutions are needed, as researchers here estimate, by 2025, Europe will be producing around 80,000 tons per year of this waste coming from windmills. This prototype is one of the solutions being developed. It's designed to grind fiber reinforced polymer composites. Our main challenge is to control the whole process. We need to carefully set up the equipment to optimize the production of the final product in the most optimal way so it can be easily reused. But we also need to closely monitor the whole process from an energy point of view. We have set up all the equipment so it's as energy efficient as possible. Recycled glass fiber has been tested in order to produce building materials at this factory. It has slightly less resistant mechanical properties, but some solutions exist. The technology that we've developed allows us to add new glass fiber to the manufacturing process so we're able to somehow catch up and compensate that eventual lack of resilience and recycle glass fiber. But then, of course, everything depends on what kind of product you're actually manufacturing. These tests are part of our research project to treat waste and design products with added value. Scientists say some of their ideas are already starting to be used. A number of German car companies are already designing new auto spare parts built with this composite waste. They should be easily fixable and detachable from the cars and then they can be immediately assembled again. This allows not only to recover the material but also to reuse it in its original function. Other potential applications could include materials for the furniture, aerospace, leisure, sport and design industries. Julian Lopez, Euronews in Milan, Italy.